Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, we're gonna to be doing an individual review on a fragrance from 1985. It's classified as a leather fragrance, and it's from the house of Perry Ellis, and this is Perry Ellis for men. So this is one I reviewed a long time ago, and I wanted to revisit it because I've been wearing it again. And what we're gonna do, as we always do in all of my individual fragrance reviews, is break down the fragrance into five parts. First, taking a look at its box and its bottle presentation. Then we're gonna go over the notes. Then we're going to talk about its performance and my experience wearing the fragrance. I'll give my overall thoughts and then, of course, my overall rating. And as usual, guys, if it's your first time here, just make sure to subscribe to support the channel. I can't thank you all enough who helped me reach uh, 10,000, and we're growing from there. So if you have an Instagram, check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, and scent of the day posts. Um, if you guys are looking to purchase fragrances directly from my collection, make sure to check out my Mercari page. It is The link for it is listed listed below. I actually have a vintage version of this that I have never used. It's brand new in the box, full presentation, whole thing, a splash bottle, 50 ml, um, perfect condition. That's for sale too. So things like that, things that I'm not wearing. I remember buying two of those. I used one and then I, you know, I have this, so I've been using that. So the, um, Vintage one is up there. So again, things I'm not wearing, I'd rather other people enjoy, and it helps me make room for new things to review. So the link for that is in the description. Um, check out my new affiliate link for Aurelius Apparel. If you're interested in the Roman Empire, you'd like shirts that you can work out in that are cool, that have some famous stoic quotes on it from one of the five great emperors, check that link out there. Discount code, I think it's 10%, and the code is SOSJ. And of course, if you like button-down shirts like the one that I wear, ones that I wear in the videos, check out Masudo. The link is below as well too. 40% discount right off the website, any of the shirts as long as they're in stock. Um, and again, guys, you know, I have affiliate links with things that I buy. These are things that I buy. I buy Masudo shirts. I bought um, uh, uh, the Aurelius Apparel and then reached out to them too. So they're not sent to me for free. And you know, I review Cologne, but these are things that I enjoy. So why not share with everybody else? Anyway, let's take a look at Periels for Men. Okay, as usual, we'll start things off with the presentation. Let's take a look at the box here. So this box is a huge box here. You can see the size and concentration. It is an eau de toilette, it's five ounces. So this is a rather tall box, all black with that sort of texture there. You can see it says Periellus for men on the top. You don't have anything going on on the sides. But down here, you got that gold stripe with this sort of brown leather looking color. On the back, you have the brand information. And on the bottom, there's more. There is your batch code. You know, you open it up here. There is a French wrapper that does come out too. So nice, sleek, simple, simple box actually for this. Nothing too crazy. No crazy patterns or anything like that. Then you take a look at the bottle. So to me, this is very 80s looking, uh, very 80s looking. It is a spray bottle, but look at that. You can see faint there, Perry Ellis, and it just says Eau de Toilette on the bottom there. Eh, it's gonna be hard to see because it's got that dark kind of amber, like a Sam Adams Boston Lager colored beer juice there. Let's see, what does that say? Um, it just says the brand info along with the batch code made in Hollywood, made in the US in Hollywood, Florida too. So look at the cap. It looks like it's supposed to be some pearl. Obviously it's just plastic. It doesn't even, you can't click into place because the bottle's so heavy. It's a cheap cap, but I always thought it looked like a deodorant stick, like a speed stick that you just zip it up and then you can utilize it. That's what that reminded me of. Um, atomizer here, very cheap atomizer. Actually the distribution, let's spray some on. Awful sprayer, just spurts out small amounts there. But um, you know, again, you do get a lot of juice um, for not a lot of money. So that's the presentation. Okay guys, as far as the notes go, if you go on for Grantica, which is where I go to get my notes, you know, you can't find this version because this is the reformulated or newer version. It's been around for a very long time. Smells exactly like it did when my dad had it. My dad still has this bottle. It's like I probably got, you know, one fifth of the amount left, but he's had it for over 15 years. So um, anyway, the, the original one from the 85, the vintage version is what's listed. There are so many notes in there. There wasn't even a top, middle, and base. It was just this like obscene pyramid. So I'm not even going to bother reading them off, but the ones that I pick up on, right? Um, rose, a little bit of leather, uh, floral, musky, soapiness. Imagine that mixed together and I'll elaborate on that more, but those are the notes that I pick up on for Perialis for Men. Okay, so the performance with this, this is again, not an expensive fragrance. And 
for the 20, 25 bucks that it cost, maybe a little bit more than that. Not sure if it's still in production, actually. It was harder to find information about it, but it wasn't too much from what I saw listings for. Performance is good. I'm getting a full workday. It lasts on my skin, but it lasts even longer on clothing. And you know, moving around throughout the day, I, at the end of the day, I'm relaxed, I'm sitting down, I'm still getting hints of this. So can't complain for the price. And again, there's a lot of juice on, so you can go super heavy. I've had this for a long time. It's kept very well. It smells uh, still the same, and the performance has always been good. And um, you know, and wearing it again, just to be sure, I'm still getting that eight-hour range where I think I'm still noticing it. Okay, now it's time for my thoughts on Perry Ellis for men. So like I had mentioned before, this is a fragrance that my dad had worn and I'll never forget it was in the, his uh, bathroom and it was just, you know, it would just lower the level and he used it. And I remember, God, it had to have been maybe a year and a half ago, he was wearing something and I smelled it in the air because I was going over to visit him because we share, not share a birthday, but it's within two days apart. And this was our family's get together for our birthday and my nephews as well. Um, and I said, oh, what cologne are you wearing? And he goes, oh, you know, it's that, it's that old Perry. He calls it Perry. The Perry cologne that I've had for a million years, he goes, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, like I haven't broke that out since I did my review like way back when um, in the beginning of the channel. So there's a nostalgia of this fragrance for me, right? Um, it's a great daily scent. If you're into season wearing, I think this is the best in the fall, winter, and spring. However, you can, of course, wear it all year round. I'm sure I've worn it in the summertime, but I think that's when it does the best because it's got this soapy, very soapy, clean, fresh, floral with a bit of leather and muskiness. Those are the notes that I get, and, and rose is something that comes to mind, and typically that is a challenging note for me. I don't like rose. When I think of rose, I think of Van Cleef and Arpels, Poor Homme, and, and that one smells like an old rose that has been in a dusty doctor's office since 1985, and it smells gross. This is done well, considering it's an inexpensive fragrance, and. I don't know what good roses, roses or not. I just know that it's a challenging note for me. And this has it in here. And I believe I do get a hint of it because something smells a little rosy, the soapiness with it. It's very of the era though. It does 80s. It smells like it could be an 80s, you know, stockbroker's office. People smoke cigarettes. I get that vibe. That's what it gives off. The dark color, the brown leather, cigar, cigarettes. You know, I, I don't even know if there's tobacco in it. There very well may be. But I know that there's leather note in it. And I know that the soapiness and floridus, it's... it's it kind of reminds me of that, right? That's that's the image I get all, I get from this fragrance, and it's a clean, fresh scent, perfect for daily because again, it's inexpensive, and you get five ounces from it, and you can just go to town. And I've been wearing it pretty heavy, like I mentioned, it lasts on clothing, um, and it smells great in the air. I think that's when it's the best, and it does leave a decent scent trail too. So all of those combined with the twenty twenty five dollars that I paid for it. Granted, that was several years ago. Maybe it's a little bit more now. I'm not sure if it's still in production or not not that much information about it but either way it's a great smelling fragrance and one that i'm glad i bought when i did and i still have a lot of it left and you know it'll be one that i'll put down for a while and i'll pick back up and think wow it's it's a i'm so happy that i have it and if i you know not to say go out and buy a backup bottle of it but because it's not the greatest thing in the world but it's definitely a scent that i really enjoy that i like the smell of and that has opened me up to soapier floral especially with rose notes where i'm like i guess i can enjoy it and this is an example of one of those situations okay guys it's time for me to rate this fragrance it's time for my ratings for Perry Ellis for Men by Perry Ellis. So the presentation, I like the bottle. I think it does look very of the era, very classic old school that it's big and everything in the 80s is big, but the sprayer is the, the junkiest thing in the world that poof, 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 it's so stupid. So anyway, it's gonna lose some points there. Seven out of 10 for the presentation. The box is kind of cool too. Um, as far as the performance goes, Eight hours, and for the price that I paid, cannot beat that. That's very good. Last the clothing, got to spray on skin and clothing. Um, and that goes to say with most stuff nowadays. So I'm definitely getting a full work day. So eight out of 10 for the performance. And as far as the scent goes, um, I like it. I like the soapiness of it. I clean this of it. And there is a nostalgia in there for me as well, too. So that's going to add to it. So not the greatest fragrance in the world, but definitely for, again, the price can't beat that $20, $25. And you get a lot of it too. So if you're someone that enjoys the soapy leather floral, you might really like this one. So definitely check it out. Scent, excuse me, the rating seven out of 10. So that's going to bring the overall rating for me for Perry Ellis from end to a seven out of 10. Okay, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for my review of Perry Ellis for Men 
or Perry Ellis Original, whatever you want to call it. Again, this is a review of an inexpensive fragrance. So my rating is in part thinking of the price with this. You know, it's not like I paid a lot for it. Otherwise, it probably would have scored a lot lower. Uh, but for what it is, I really enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you agree with me about the notes and, and what it's appealing about it and, and, and how it reminds you of the 80s era, business era, again, office. That's what, that's what I think of when I think of the scent. And that's why I think it's a great daily fragrance. Let me know in the comments section. I love all of the interaction. Um, again, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the affiliate links for the clothing if you're interested in that. Again, Aurelius Apparel link is in there. Uh, Masuda link is down there as well too, along with my Mercari page if you're looking to get some vintage fragrances or other rare fragrances from my collection, including a vintage version of this if you want to check it out too. So I wanted to thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.